students uh, today we are going to draw the diagram of nephron it's uh, the microscopic unit which is uh, present in the kidneys about 1 million microscopic units are present in the in each of your kidney now this nephron has a tubular part first of all you're going to draw the tubular part and then there will be blood supply so first of all with the help of a pencil make a cup shaped now in two dimension cup will look like this uh, so cup shaped bowman's capsule it's called the bowman's capsule and it is followed by a convoluted tubule convoluted twisted tubule and this is called the proximal convoluted tubule uh proximal means proximal to its anterior side to its beginning so proximal convoluted tubule will proceed towards or into a deep u shaped henle's loop so it is going to be a thick segment going down descending segment and suddenly it turns a little thinner before it takes a u turn it becomes thinner then after taking the u turn as it is ascending it's still thin and as it reaches about upper one third once again it becomes thick so you are going to show the thickness increasing here this is a thick ascending segment of the tubular part of henle loop henle loop now once again it is going to make twists this time it is little away from the origin so you are going to call it distal convoluted tubule distal convoluted tubule will be joining a collecting duct collecting duct which will be receiving the urine from this nephron will also be receiving urine from many other nephrons so you can show the branches joining it so it may be some branches coming from the other side one has come from here some more are coming so just show it going down with the branches being received from other nephron now this part being complete you are going to make the uh, blood capillaries now when you make blood capillaries with pencil everything will seem little merged that is why i'll suggest children do not uh, leave it in pen you are going to overlap with a pen so just overlap the whole thing with a pen let it be overlapped with a pen and then once you have overlapped it you are going to this time draw with a pencil and then you are going to use the pen uh, after making this you are going to make the capillary network so let's say this is the blood capillaries which are moving in this is the branch of renal artery and it enters the bowman's capsule this makes a pouch like structure capillaries are making a pouch like a bunch like structure this bunch is called glomerulus comes out once again it will break down into capillaries so you are going to make a capillary network here also and this capillary network will take time to draw and so the trick is that you draw first the outline and then try and draw the other part so i am trying to show you the capillary network from the outside as you can see i have made the outside part and now i am going to fill it in how do you fill it in i'll just show you the labeling of nephron is complete now so once again 
we are starting with the blood flow coming from the renal artery the branch would be called the renal arteriole since it's entering the bumes capsule so it will be efferent efferent means entry so it will be efferent arteriole which will make a bunch of capillaries called glomerulus when it comes out after filtration ultra filtration has taken place and the blood comes out as efferent arteriole and efferent arteriole carries the blood which has been filtered here and now it breaks into a capillary network around the nephron tubule the pct the henle's loop as it is going down and coming up is called descending limb and the ascending limb and the dct the distal convoluted tubule so this capillary network will have a peripheral capillary called vasa recta otherwise the blood is not only getting the useful products from the filtrate which we call selective reabsorption but it is also exchanging the gases oxygen and carbon dioxide so ultimately the blood which is filtered off the urea uric acid and has carried the carbon dioxide will be coming to the renal venule and finally uh, the urine which has formed here in the city will be collected in the collecting duct so this is how your labeling has to be done